Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we're going to be looking into the best units that you can choose to art boost because art boosting is not a cheap upgrade at all. All. now we do know that the art boosting system is going to get slightly easier during the anniversary or maybe later than that they did put in the news that the resources that you can get through art boosting will be available through great dual, go dual coins i believe but this is legends we're dealing with we don't know how long that's going to be and on top of that we don't know how cheap it's going to be so i have to say where you allocate your resources is very very vital because you don't want to put them to waste i will also put aside that with this system you have to be very very careful because once you put it in you're not going to be able to get it back and you're going to have to wait we've seen other systems such as equipment reawakening they've taken so long for them to reduce the cost it's long when zenkai awakening came out to get the zenkai souls so long even to this day it's not the easiest thing to do so with that being said this will be a very valuable video for you guys so you can guys can art boost the correct unit in the correct order that will suit your game Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video, man. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 50,000 subscribers, man. All my social media is on the bottom of the screen. So if you want to check me out on all of those, follow me on Twitter especially and join the Discord. It'll be useful for you during the anniversary. Without further ado, let's get into the video now. Okay, now before I get into anything in this video, I want you guys to know that the art boost system is about making who you like more powerful. Because it's so expensive, generally speaking, you should be able to boost whoever you like, given that they're half decent in the first place, and actually make them usable in PvP because they will have a boost against everybody else in PvP. So before anybody comments, I don't need this because I'm using this person, or maybe you've already decided to use somebody, I advise you pick more than anything else, someone that is in favor of who you like using. So for example, I'm a Fusion Warrior guy, so I've already gone ahead and started using my Fusion Warriors uh, with the resources that you get for the arts boost system so let me show you my ugb he's actually a work in progress because i'm a vegeta over gogeta guy so you can see he's still on 80 out of 99 but i use him every game so pretty much i should actually get into 99 not because he's the most op but really because i like fusion warriors but it works together ultra super vegeta he's clearly not the most op a lot of people will not say he's top, top not top 10 i agree one of i'm one of those people and you can see i've art boosted him to 99 so you can see there it actually changes um how he will perform he'll perform much better than if i didn't have him with the art boost 99 i'll be working towards these later it's just so expensive that i can't do all of them together so yeah because i like fusion warriors i've gone ahead with my fusion warriors but usb is already half decent so adding the art boost to him makes him more powerful i advise you do the same given if you want to take my advice it's one of the units that fit the advice that i give now the first piece of advice i'm going to give because you might have thought i'm just going to list a lot of units and i will but in the same way a lot of these units that I would mention would fall under the description i give anyway i advise you pick an ultra that fits your team now why i say an ultra is simply because an ultra is actually the most powerful thing you can get in this game now this is made before the anniversary and I know people have seen the possible leaks of there being an Ultra Legends Limited. Most likely the case, it probably won't be a team that you like unless you're a Fusion Warrior guy, God Key guy. I'm assuming it's going to be VB, that's why I'm saying that. So <laughs> really and truly pick an Ultra that's to your liking. We've got a good pool for you to get, for you guys to pick what you like. Unless you're a GT guy, just wait at the back for, for, for us, for us at the front. Alright cool, so Fusion Warriors, you've got three options. I'm definitely going to work on Ultra Super Goji as well. If you're a future guy, you got your Rose. Kyle Ken, I wouldn't advise working on him because even I feel like with the Arts Boost, he's not going to work valuable. And you should, uh, region guys have this guy here. Powerful opponents have these three. So you got your options for most people. I'm not going to say everybody, but I feel like having an Ultra where you pick to Arts, arts Boost would be the biggest advantage to any team that you use simply because they will bring that team to the next level. Of course, if your team doesn't have an Ultra, you could pick a Legends Limited unit because I feel like below Ultras, obviously, it's Legends Limited units that fit the caliber. So in this case, let me just pick somebody, for example. Let's take GT, LF Super Saiyan 4, Goku, he'll probably be your main man without a doubt. If not him, maybe you like the Tag 4s more. You know what I'm saying? Pick someone that's a staple for your team. I only spoke about Ultras because it's the pinnacle. Whoever's mailing your team, whoever's coming every single game without fail, let me pick another guy. These Gohan. Pick them to Arts Boost more than anything else. And then from there, your team will only go up because regardless, you're going to be using them more than anything else. It doesn't make sense really, in my opinion, to Arts Boost somebody you're not going to use because then you're just putting resources pretty much in the garbage when you could be putting it into somebody you're going to use almost all the time. Now, with that same advice I'm giving you, you should also think about where 
where you want to allocate it so if you actually go to the ultras right most of them are melee types at the time of legends limited most of them are melee types so you would obviously obviously be boosting the strike heart section of the arts boost so let me actually bring up ultra Go goji of blue again just for sake if i press arts boost at the top left you can see that there's three segments in most cases First, you'd be considering what type of attacker they are. Are they a melee type or are they a range type? If they're a range type, then you go the range type. If they're a melee type, then you go the strike attack. Whatever, cool. But then second of all, I think the special boost would always go second. So this is a re-upload and I made a slight error here, but I want to make sure that you guys are very clear on understanding the order of what you should do. So the strike or the blast depends on what type of unit you're using. Second, you should still always do the special because it boosts defenses. The icon always gets me on the first day i read it and understood that it's defenses but it always gets me and i sometimes think special move just naturally because it's blue but regardless you should always do the defenses second because defenses are going to make you tanky as hell and they're going to make the difference for letting you actually survive and compete better against other uh pvp units so depending on whether they're a melee type or a range type you start with the strike or the blast then second you should do the blue so you can boost their actual uh defenses and then you should think about their weakest sector which would either be the strike or their blast depending on what type of unit they are and what type of team you're using so i just want that to be clear uh for this video your order of actual art boosting should really depend on what team you're using and how your team applies i think the last thing i'm going to advise for other than giving a list in this video would be to simply look at the future of legends so right now at the time i'm making this video it's right before the anniversary very likely we're gonna get an ultra maybe not one even two and if we get two ultras you'll have options to pick from and one of those ultras could be everything you're looking for the next unit is usually better than the last and even if they're not they're gonna be arts boosted so you then need to think about how long they're gonna last in the game in the case right now i already spoke about him a lot and it's gonna look like blazing but ultra goji blue's been in the game for how long since december He's most likely going to live for a longer time as well so you can see his value in the game is very high which makes sense to arts boost him if you're going to be using him a lot with other units you can't say the same they've had a very short time frame let's take ultra broly for example even if you might like him you could use him and i'm not saying he's bad but really and truly in the pvp meta he's not a top 10 unit you're looking at thinking this guy's a real big threat you know not that he's bad again but again you need to think about whether they're going to live long in pvp so think about the units that are coming out in the future so that you can actually think about, all right, cool. Is the next unit that's possibly gonna come out gonna be worth it for me? Right now, they've been releasing hints towards possibly the tournament power and it's pretty much confirmed that that's gonna be the case. Looking at it like that with all the hints, we've had Piccolo and TN from when I'm actually recording this video. With that being the case, I have to say, most likely it's going to be tournament power based. Goku and Frieza, LOE guys, Saiyan guys, they're going to be up. Universe rep guys are gonna be even higher, so. Maybe if that's something of your interest, you could then arts boost um, Goku and Frieza, assuming it's Goku and Frieza, when they drop for the anniversary. But then again, that's a whole big assumption, but it's just to show out, show the process of thinking about what's going to be in the future and not just what's here now. All right, so to finish off the video, I made a little tier list here and I've got them tier list in order, right? But it's based off a lot of assumptions because obviously not everybody in the game I have arts boosted to the max but i feel like these units in the game would be units that would be valued highly if they were to be arts boosted to the brim on their appropriate teams in the meta so i tried to order it but it's not a perfect order so don't come in my head too much but i feel like these units would have a lot of value in the game if they were to be arts boosted with all of this so 99 strike a 99 blast 99 special this would be the order i have in the god value but I might want to move Charlotte down. I might be gassing him up, but I feel like he's actually very, very good, depending on which transformation you use. But I got him all there because he's got multiple transformations, right? And then um, S value was obviously not the god tier value. Uh, Future Gohan's longevity is so stupid. That's why he's up here. I feel like these units here, they're actually just really good, but maybe they have some flaws. For example, uh, Rev Sign's first life is a bit too weak. 17 at the moment doesn't have the best teams uh boo bro that their type broly has options you know mui if he gets hit he's bad but other than that he can actually do some work if you actually start him up the tag droids are just annoying as hell and you guys know as long as they can do their long combos if their damage is up it's solid so um yeah it might be, i might be reaching with some of these but let me know what you guys think. I don't think I've ever, nobody's ever done this tier list. I might have had to make this own its own video, but 
a uh, I think this is all right it's not the best list it's not even a great list in my opinion I think the god tier is cool down here I was kind of just forcing it I made it so like it could be a top 20 but yeah let me know what you guys think about this this is what I'd have um, I'm obviously starting with UGB but then also don't forget that outside of the actual objective value that I've tried to place please just pick via preference you have more fun that way and not gonna lie a lot of these units have range like there's a lot of units here they don't all just fit on the same tag so you can have a lot of fun with them genuinely speaking damn but yeah man that's going to be the end of the video hopefully you did enjoy this video hopefully it was helpful i'm gonna try to produce more of these videos um to help you guys in the future i've been putting out a lot but discussion videos as well i think are very very useful let me know what you guys think about the information i've given in this video i'm going to finish off ugb usv then i'm going to start on usg as long as they don't release a new fusion warrior which they probably will so i'm going to save my resources after ugb and usv strike and then see if they drop an ultra video blue so the second he drops i can do the 99 boost thing and i'm going to be clear but that's just for me thank you guys for watching press the subscribe button we're on this grind to 50,000 subscribers my name is Akashi guys and I'll see you guys in the next one man